Hi, I'm James, AI-generated Kali from Nordlayer, and today we're going to take a closer look at Zero Trust Security. The days of protecting your company network by walling off the outside world are long gone. Between remote workforces, cloud-native apps and API, as well as new cyber threats, this castle and moat approach just doesn't work. If you want to protect your organization, you have to be ready for threats that come from every angle, inside your network included. This is where a Zero Trust Security Framework comes in. Zero Trust is a trust none, verify all approach to cybersecurity. With this framework, every person, device, and application accessing a network is by default distrusted. And access is only granted to parts of the network essential to each party's tasks. So, even if a threat gains access to the network via a compromised user account, application, or device, the impact of the breach is kept to a minimum. If you're looking for ways to reduce attack surface, increase the visibility of user activity, and create a dynamic network with access based on exact needs, a zero-trust framework is a great place to start. Zero Trust isn't software you can buy, but rather a security model that can help decision makers and security leaders safeguard their organization. These are the seven main pillars to implementing a Zero Trust framework. User security, device security, network security, application and workload security, data security, visibility and analytics, automation and orchestration. These pillars all work together and are instrumental in providing robust, dynamic security. Now that we've covered the lengthy list of pillars, let's look at a few ways Zero Trust can be used. Each device, app, or person is verified before accessing any asset, and their access is highly limited within the network. Managers provide secure remote access, verify each connection, encrypt traffic, and monitor activities in real time precisely control who, how, and what extent access to your network and assets is provided. So, where should you start? First, map out your network to determine what data, applications, assets, and services need to be protected. Second, observe and document how applications interact with each other. Understanding how your systems work will help you see the areas that need access controls. Next, Create an outline for your Zero Trust architecture. Depending on your findings from the previous steps, you need to outline a Zero Trust architecture that'll protect the critical areas in your network. Then, create a Zero Trust policy. Determine who can access a resource by using what application and when, where the packet is destined to go, and how access is granted for each specific application. Finally, monitor and maintain network permissions. Review internal and external logs to gain insights that'll help further improve network security. Looking to protect your organization by adopting Zero Trust? NordLayer can help you get started. Visit nordlayer.com for more information.